the number of specific outcomes divided by the total possible outcomes. That's how all of these general probabilities work. So how many different ways to make a 7? Well, that's a good question. Let's go ahead and see. You can have a... Let's see what we can do here. Your first one, you can have a 1 and a 6. 2 and a 5. These are all the different ways you can make a 7. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so to make a 7, there are 6 ways to get 7 out of 36. So see how to get an 11. And there's one way to get an 11, 6 and a 5. And then the other one has to be a 5 and a 6. So there's two ways to get an 11. So it's going to be 2 out of a possible 36. Remember, this is an OR problem. OR should trigger the addition. So go ahead and add those two up. And you're going to get a grand total of 8 out of 36. Reduce that to 2 over 9. It's going to come out to be 0.2222. Now remember, in, in the crafts game, the, the first roll you have you have a 22% chance of winning, but that means that you have a 78% chance of losing. Remember that. The Las Vegas guys know what they're doing. They've been doing it a long time, so just be careful. MGZ. Au revoir.